Israel has launched a new early warning aerostat, a type of unmanned tethered airship, described as one of the largest of its kind in the world. Developed by Israeli industry with U.S. assistance, the High Availability Aerostat System, or HAS, will be expected to provide advance warning of low-flying threats, such as cruise missiles, weaponized drones, and other aerial threats. Stationed at an unnamed location in northern Israel, the platform will be used to detect and warn of advanced threats, with its primary sensor being the long-range Skydew elevated radar. At this stage, the Haas is still under test, with the milestone yesterday referring to the initial inflation of the aerostat's gas envelope after installation of the radar equipment. As well as their specific application in defense against cruise missile attacks, radar-toting aerostats like the Haas contribute more generally to improved situational awareness. For a relatively small country like Israel, faced by a wide variety of different threats and surrounded by potential flashpoints, advanced warning of this kind is always going to be in demand. The I have confirmed that the Haas was developed by the ELTA Division of Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, in cooperation with the IAF, the Israel Missile Defense Organization IMDO, and the U.S. Missile Defense Agency MDA. The balloon itself was produced by the American TCOM company, a specialist in this field, that also produced the aerostat for JLENS. The ability to remain aloft for extended periods, normally in different types of weather, means that surveillance aerostats like Haas can offer cost effectiveness and reduced maintenance demands, especially compared to airborne early warning aircraft. While smaller sensor-equipped aerostats are a familiar feature of military operations around the world, typically providing localized surveillance for forward bases in conflict zones, for border areas, or other points of interest, large-size balloons with radar payloads are far less common. But they offer significant advantages, including their persistence, being able to remain on station for many days at a time. By avoiding ground clutter and topography, they are also able to surveil a wider portion of airspace, all the way from ground level up to high altitude, meaning they are especially useful for detecting low-flying threats. At the same time, their upper altitude limits far outstretch those of ground-based radars, providing a far longer line of sight to the horizon. Nevertheless Israel seems convinced that large-size aerostats offer an important adjunct to its already powerful air defense network. As the Haas heads toward operational service, it will be interesting to see whether other countries adopt similar solutions as they seek to counter similar low-flying threats.